there internet and thank you for watching this video and in this video we're going to get started with Joomla so we're going to learn how to install Joomla Joomla at the current time of this video which is video is recorded Wednesday February 22nd 2012 and the current release of Joomla is Joomla 2.5.1 so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Joomla website www.joomla.org and then we're going to click on the download link right here. Now after we have that download link, we're going to click the package that we want, which the package that we want is going to be the 2.5 full package. So let's go ahead and get the zip folder. And we're going to let that download. It should take only a couple seconds. Now while that's downloading, you may want to go ahead and create a database. I have created a database and the database name is Joomla25. That way it makes it a little bit simple for us to remember. And let's see here, it's almost done downloading. Okay, it's now done downloading. So let's go ahead and open up the folder to where we're going to be putting our Joomla installation at. So I'm going to be putting in a folder called Learn Joomla and a directory called EN. And you'll see that there's a few files in here. Do not worry about these files. This is just because I'm going to be using Eclipse to show you how to do certain aspects of Joomla. So let's go ahead and select all the files and we're to come and drag and drop right into this folder. And that should take a couple seconds for it to extract. Okay, very good. So now all the files are now extracted. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to navigate to the location of what's it installed. In my instance, this is learn Joomla forward slash en. I'm going to go ahead and go. Now we're going to see an installation screen shortly. Let's see. Okay, we now have our installation screen. So let's select our language. In this case, it's going to be English, United States. I'm going to click next. Now it's going to give you some information about your installation of Joomla. Now it, uh, there's a couple things here that you probably won't have to worry about, and particularly output buffering. I was actually looking through, now this is not really relevant to the installation, but I was actually looking at some of the code, and some of the tags within Joomla are actually surrounded by OB um, output buffering. And I'm not sure why it's recommended off when Joomla actually uses it in its uh, core. Uh, display errors, you generally want to turn this off in a production environment, but being that we are in a development version, we're just going to keep that on. Uh, native zip support, uh, this is really not needed, uh, but you can have it if you want to. Um, I'm not exactly sure if my version of PHP actually supports that. Okay, so let's uh, click next, and just make sure that you uh, read the, the license, or if you already understand uh, what the license are. Uh, basically, this license just covers that you are free to use Joomla for whatever purpose you want. You can uh, deconstruct or reconstruct it um, as you see fit, as long as you attach this general public license agreement to it. Okay, let's click next, and we're going to select our database type, which is MySQL. The host is local, and our username is just going to be simple username. Password is going to be password. Uh, database, you may have created this differently, but I called it Joomla25. Okay, and uh, table prefix, you can leave this for whatever you want. It probably generated something unique for you. I'm just going to leave that alone. And I'm going to click next. Now what this is doing right now, this is actually installing your database tables. And if you go back to your database, you can actually see to where it's actually installing all your all your tables. You can see that they're they're starting to, to pop up now slowly. So yeah, with that, it's still working. It's got a lot of a lot of information to install. Okay, very, very good. We'll go back, that's still working. Let's just Curious, curious. See where it's going. So far, a lot, a lot, a lot of tables, and it's still installing. Okay, we'll come back and we'll see. And it should be done. Okay, very good. 
So FTP configuration, it's not necessary. You may want to use it. I over do not use it. So a little bit of not really security, but it's it's, it's uh, something you don't have to worry about. And I'm going to name this site Learn Juma 2.5. Email, I'm just going to put um, my email. You can email me if you want to. I don't think I ever hardly checked that one. Uh, admin username, just admin password so you can remember it would be password. Uh, confirm admin password is going to be password. Now, being that we are going to be learning Joomla, we are going to install the sample data. And that should be done. And we'll click next. Oops, let's see here. The most recent request was nine because it contained invalid security token. Please refresh and try again. Hmm. Okay, so that was just something temporary it looked like. Okay, so let's just remove the installation folder. That way we don't have to go back and delete it. And now we can actually go to our site and see what we just created. Alright, very good. So we are now working with a fresh installation of Joomla. So that looks very good. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to start going into the back end and uh, seeing what Joomla can do for you. And then we'll eventually move towards creating modules and components. Alright guys, have a good one and thank you for watching.